Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about the ecosystem feel the energy flow. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 9. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to define the term ecosystem and to identify its key components. The second one is to create a visual representation of the energy flow within an ecosystem. And the third one is to appreciate the interconnectedness of living and non-living components in an ecosystem by answering the reflection of questions. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will find the words related to the lesson in the word puzzle and then use the given clues to identify the words. In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a community of living organisms, which is the biotic factors interacting with each other and their physical environment like the abiotic factors. The following are the key components of an ecosystem. The first one is the producers. It is an organism that can produce their own food and usually through photosynthesis. Example for producers are the following, the plants, algae, and some bacteria. Another key component of an ecosystem is the consumers. It is an organism that obtain energy by consuming other organisms. The following are the types of consumers. The first one is the herbivores. It consumes producers, for example, the deer, rabbits, and caterpillar. Consumers that feed on producers are plants and other autotrophs. Another type of consumers is the carnivores. It consumes another consumers, for example, the lion, sharks, and spiders, organisms that obtain energy by consuming other organisms. Another type of consumer is the omnivores. It consumes both producers and consumers, for example, the humans, bears, and raccoons. Consumers that feed on both producers, which is the plant, and other consumers, which is the animal. Another key component of an ecosystem is the decomposer. It is an organism that break down dead organic matter and recycle nutrients. Example for this are fungi and bacteria. Another key component of an ecosystem is the abiotic factors. These are the non-living components of an ecosystem. The following are the examples. The water, for example, the river, lakes, and ocean. Another example of abiotic factors is the air. Example for this are the oxygen and the carbon dioxide. And another example for abiotic factors is the soil. Example for this are the minerals and nutrients. 
And another abiotic factor is the sunlight. The following are the energy flow in an ecosystem. The sun as a primary source of energy. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for most ecosystems on Earth. Solar energy drives the process of photosynthesis, which is the foundation of energy flow in the ecosystem. Producers such as plants and microorganisms are able to capture the sun's energy and convert it into chemical energy in the form of glucose. During photosynthesis, producers use the sun's energy, carbon dioxide, and water to produce glucose and release oxygen as a byproduct. The process of photosynthesis converts the sun's light energy into the chemical energy stored in glucose molecules. Glucose is then used by the producers as a source of energy for their growth and maintenance, or it is passed on to the consumers in the ecosystem. An energy pyramid is also known as tropic pyramid or ecological pyramid. It's a graphical representation of the flow of energy within an ecosystem. It depicts the relative amount of energy available at each tropic level, from the producers at the base to the top level of consumers at the apex. The pyramid is divided into different trophic levels, which represent the feeding relationship in the ecosystem. The trophic levels typically include the producers, examples are plants and algae, the primary consumers, which are the herbivores, the secondary consumers, which are the carnivores that feed on herbivores, the tertiary consumers, which are the carnivores that feed on other carnivores, and the last one is the decomposers, examples are the fungi and bacteria. Energy flows from the lower trophic levels to the higher trophic levels or organisms consume and transfer energy through the food chain. The amount of energy available decreases at each successive trophic level as a significant portion of the energy is lost through respiration, heat, and other processes. The energy pyramid is typically depicted as a triangular or pyramidal shape, with the producers forming the broad base and the higher level consumer forming the narrower apex. The relative size of each tropic level in the pyramid represents the amount of energy available at that level. For the work example, the diagram below is an example of an energy pyramid. The students will label the different tropic levels of the energy pyramid using the word bank below.